What do you do when you don't feel like writing? You're a writer. You're supposed to write. You're supposed to want to write. But what if you don't feel like it? Then what do you do? You have a story to tell, but you don't know where to start. Let me show you how to free your story. I teach you how to write and how to dig deep in your soul to release your story and make a difference in the world. Welcome to the Julia Monte channel. If we're just meeting, I am Julia Monte. I'm a women's fiction author. And today we're going to talk about what to do when you don't have the motivation or the inspiration to write. Uh, now, does this happen? Um, yes, it does happen. Uh, in, it, it probably doesn't happen uh, very often. I'm going to guess. Uh, I'll tell you how I feel. So I there's never a time when I don't really feel like writing. Okay, so I'll just I'll just say it this way. Uh, I love to write, and so I don't feel there's not I don't ever feel like I don't like to write or I don't want to write. What does happen is that I might be too tired to write, or I might be too busy to write. Okay, so it's not that I don't want to, because if I had any choice at all, do you want to go to work, or do you want to do this, or do you want to go out? Do you want to eat do you, or do you want to write? And most of the time I would say, I would probably like 95% of the time, I would choose to write because that's what I love to do. So it's just like anybody else. If, if it's something that you love to do, then why would you not want to do it, right? But the only reason you don't want to do it is you just don't have the energy to do it. You're just too tired to do it. You have too many other things that are uh, occupying your mind or your your day, and you get finally sit down to start writing, and you're just like, I really don't want to. I'm so tired, right? I, I don't have the energy. I can't think right now. So what happens? What do you do when that situation happens. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to say is um, probably not what you think I'm going to say. Uh, and that is that no matter what is happening, if you're a writer, you write. Okay, writers write. It doesn't matter what happens. It doesn't matter if you feel like it. It doesn't matter if you have time. It doesn't matter all that stuff. Because if you're a writer, then you write. Um, just like as a teacher, I'm also a teacher. If, if, if the teacher doesn't feel like teaching, the teacher still has to teach. If a fireman doesn't feel like going to work and putting out a fire, uh, too bad. He has to go and he has to perform, right? Uh, well, we have to think of writing the same way. If we're, if we're serious writers, if you are, this is what your, this is your job or this is something that you would like to have as your job in the future. If you're a writer, then you have to write. However, there are tips, right? There are ways to get us to want to write a little bit more if we are tired, if we are exhausted, if we are, uh, you know, too busy or all the other things that I mentioned before. So I'll give you some of the tips that, that do work for me. Okay. So the first one is that, um, if I, 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 I'm, I'm, let's say I'm exhausted and I can say this because this is actually happening right now to me. Uh, because it's the end of a semester. I am teaching at the university. I am uh, grading massive amounts of papers and, you know, the, kind of the, the final papers. I have all kinds of things coming in. Students are giving little presentations. I've got stacks of stuff to grade. So I've spent hours and hours and hours every day uh, reading through all this stuff sitting in front of my computer doing all this. And then I have to write as well, right? So I have to write blogs. I have to write, you know, things, <laughs> stories, all of this. So uh, what I do to say, okay, now I'm going to sit and I'm going to spend even just 30 minutes writing, which is more than that, honestly, probably like two hours. And, but I am so tired. I'm so tired of staring at the screen. I'm so tired of thinking of words. So, what the, the first thing that I do is I think about my reader. Okay. So whether I'm writing my sto a story, writing a blog or whatever, I think of the reader and I think, okay, what, uh, I'm, I'm writing this for a reader. I'm not just writing for myself. Otherwise I'd just be writing in a journal, right? I'm writing for a reader. And, and, um, the reader, first of all, needs me to be at my best, I'm really not at my best right now. I'm kind of tired, but I'm going to write anyways. 
because and so helping uh, thinking of what the reader wants if the reader wants the next installment of a book that, or the next novel that the reader wants to read the next blog then uh i, I will do it because i want to please my readers right I'm, I'm doing this for my readers if i just decide that i'm tired i don't want to do it i don't feel like it uh well i'm not really thinking of my reader right i'm just thinking of me and this usually works for everything, right? We, we typically will do more for other people than we will for ourselves. If we just think about ourselves, well, I just want to get this book written because I want to get this book written because I want to have a book because I want to, then I can wait. <laughs> I can wait until I feel like I have more energy or like I want to write or like I have time to write. But if I'm thinking of my readers, it's like, no, I have to do this because I need to make some progress on this novel. Otherwise, it's going to be another year before my novel gets written and my readers get my next book. Okay. So the first thing I do is think about my reader and that sort of gives me a little bit more motivation. Like, okay, I, I can, I can do this. I can stay up an extra 30 minutes and write for my reader. Okay. The next piece of advice that I want to give you is that, uh, if you're really, really feeling like this, oh, I just, I don't have, I'm not inspired to write because of all these other things that are going on in my life, then read a little bit, read some writing advice, go read some blogs on writing, go read some articles on writing, go watch a video on writing, because what, what that will do is it will give you a little bit of that inspiration, right? Like, okay, here's some advice on how to write better. Here's some advice on how to do whatever. Uh, and that, that helps. Okay. Because we all need sort of the, that, those words of encouragement sometimes. Honestly, this is why I do this. Uh, and, uh, I've, I've read articles like, you know, why do writers always tell other writers that they can do this and this and this, or that writing is easy. Uh, I never say that. I never say that it's easy, but I do want to be encouraging. And the reason that I want to be encouraging is because we need that, right? We have enough people telling us how difficult it is. It is a difficult industry. Uh, and, um, but you know, I, that's not really what I want to do. I want to be honest. Yes, it can be difficult, right? Yes, we can be tired, but I also want to be encouraging. And so listening to things that are encouraging and it doesn't really even have to be about writing. One of the things I do almost daily, uh, at least every other day, cause I don't walk my dogs every day, but I walk my dogs like every other day. And when I do, I take a pod, I take my earbuds and I listen to a podcast and it's always something positive or inspiring. And it can be something about writing or it can be something about, um, anything, right? How to, how to eat better, how to do something else. And it just puts me in that positive motivational mood so I can go on with my day. But, uh, the, you know, doing that, listen, reading some, um, advice by writers, listening to videos about writing, uh, can help you to get a little bit more motivated and say, okay, I'm, I have to go home. I'm leaving work now. I have to go home. I know I have to write this chapter. I'm so tired. I really don't want to do it. So on my drive home, I'm going to plug in a podcast on writing something inspiring that by the time I get home, it's like, okay, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm excited. I, I can, I can do this. Right. So just get some advice from people that want you to do well. All right. The next thing is to get, try to get a little energized. So if you're writing first thing in the morning, you're writing at the end of the day, sometimes your energy level might not be where it needs to be. Uh, when you first wake up, you may, you know, be, be kind of groggy. It's like, oh, first, you know, beginning of the day, I don't want to write. Or same thing at the end of the day, I'm too tired, right? I don't want to write. But um, try to do something just to bring in a little bit of extra energy just to get you through what you need to write. It can be uh, anything from like just doing a little exercise, doing like 15 minutes of cardio where you get your blood pumping a little bit and you get into a little bit of a more excited state. Uh, also, it could be, uh, and, and do something healthy. Like, yeah, you can drink coffee. Um, that, you know, that'll give you a little caffeine jolt, but then, you know, then you won't sleep as well or you'll have other, other problems or, you know, stomach upset or whatever. So, can. I mean, if that helps you and, and, and you want to, that's fine. Uh, sometimes I'll take like a vitamin B12 and it's clear. You're supposed to help with your clear, your mind and clear, clearer thinking. Um, so something positive. So something that gives you a little bit more energy. It could be just going for a brisk walk around your block. It could be a little cardio. It could be just something that, that pumps up the energy a little bit and allows you to get those extra few minutes 
before you crash and go to sleep or before you go to work or work, whatever it is that you need to do. All right. Oh, and something else that you can do, of course, is music. Uh, I know that music sometimes I'll, I'll put uh, energetic type music, uh, like exercise type music and that also will kind of pump up my, my energy level a little bit. So another thing that you can do is to go right in public outside of your normal place. So that will motivate you in a different way. So one of the things that I used to do uh, is, um, and, and it just depends always on my schedule because since I teach, I teach at different times. So uh, right now, currently, I get out of work at 10 o'clock at night. I'm not really going to do this and, and uh, businesses are closed. But I used to on my way home when I had a different schedule is leave work, leave teaching. And instead of coming straight home, I'd go to, like, to a coffee shop to an air bread or I'd go to a Starbucks or something. And I would sit there and say, okay, I know I need to get this chapter done. I need to get this writing finished. So I could go home and do it. However, it almost feels like I'm leaving work and I'm going home, I'm saying hi to my family, and then I'm just going right back to work. And that just doesn't feel good. <laughs> it doesn't feel like I want to do that. Like, why do I have to come back home from work when I'm tired and then just go right back to work? I really want to come home and say hi to my kids or I want to come home, hang out with my husband and do something else, right? So in order to sort of trick my mind and and make my brain think, no, you're not done working yet, is I don't go straight home. I go to this coffee shop and I sit and I write what I need to write. I might spend an hour or two hours, probably not two hours if I'm at work, but at least an hour, right? Where I can go get uh, something healthy. It could be some maybe tea, maybe some maybe caffeine. Just depends. But uh, just sit there, right? And start and do my writing. And the reason that this helps, and it helps you to stay inspired or motivated to do the work that you don't want to do, is because um, coffee shops, people are kind of working, right? Like you, you look around, people are reading something, they're doing some kind of work, they're, they're uh, sometimes they're chatting and talking with other people too, but even that noise that people are actively doing something keeps you, your mind actively going. It's like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm still surrounded by people, there's still activity here, and you can get your work done. So sometimes that helps us just don't uh, go somewhere else. Don't go home where your mind says, okay, I'm, I'm here and I'm ready to relax. And then when you do leave, a coffee shop and do leave whatever or just stay in your office a little bit extra if that works for you nobody's there to bother you and write uh, but then when you get home it's like okay it's done right i worked i did my job i also got my writing done and now when i walk in even so it's a little later i can relax i can just hang out with my kids or i can you know take a nice uh, shower do something different that's relaxing and i don't have to feel like i just left work and now i've got to go to work again okay so sometimes that helps just Find somewhere else. Go out, write in public. Maybe write outside if it's you know summertime and there's daylight. Go to a park because uh, that again could be inspiring for you. Okay, and the last thing that you can do is uh, it is put a set a timer and say, okay, if I do have 15 minutes or I have 30 minutes or whatever, whatever it is you have, set the timer for that. And then that again tells your brain that okay, I'm I only have to write as long as that. You know, until that timer goes off. So sometimes that helps too. It's like, okay, I really don't want to write. I'm really tired, but I can do it until this timer goes off. So you put the timer on, don't do anything else, and you get the writing done. And that, uh, again, that, that just helps your brain. It's not like you're going to do this all the time, right? Because you're not, well, maybe you are going to write a whole novel writing 15 minutes at a time. Um, but at least you wrote something. And it, and it, it tells your brain uh, two things. First of all, that this is important to you and you're going to do it every day, even if you're tired. Okay. The second thing is that your brain and your mind gets used to writing when you tell it to write. Like, no, you are going to write at this time. You're going to sit there, you're going to write something. You might not be brilliant, it might not be the best thing you've ever written, but you are going to write something because you are going to finish a novel, right? So it gets your brain used to doing that. So it's not like, uh, like usually when I sit down, it's like, okay, it's time for me to write, then that's what I do. I just sit and I start writing. Uh, and it's not that I don't think, what am I going to write about or what am I going to do? Of course I do that, but uh, I don't sit and open Facebook. I don't do other things. I just sit and it's okay, it's time to write now. And this is what I'm going to be doing. And my brain goes right into thinking about the story or the blog or whatever I need to. 
Okay, and lastly, I just want to encourage you that you will feel like writing again. So if you force yourself to write during these times when you really don't feel like it, uh, don't feel like it's always going to be this way, because of course it's not. We go through periods where we're working hard, where we're tired, where things are going, you know, we may be uh, sad about something that is going on in our life, and we may just not feel like writing. But if we continue to do it and just kind of keep forcing ourselves into this habit that it becomes um, just another thing that we do every day, then uh, eventually you will feel better. You will feel, you'll get more sleep. You won't have that, that project, that work that you have to get done. And you will feel like writing again. That inspiration will come back. The motivation will come back once some of those stressors are out of the way. And in fact, Sometimes it helps to really pay attention to those stressors. So for me, right now, it's all this grading, right? So it's like, okay, if I don't feel like writing or I'm not writing at my best right now, it's okay because I, I have these other things that I really need to take care of. I have to grade these papers for my students. And, uh, and if I really focus on that and get that done, it'll go away, right? I'll be finished with that, and then I can really focus on my writing again. So I know that it will come back and will be inspired again. So sometimes you're not inspired because you're just too tired, you're just too too busy. Um, so know that it's it's natural, of course, and that it will come back. So don't feel bad and feel like, oh, I'm just never going to be motivated to write this book again. Uh, that's not true. You will. Just keep the practice up, and then you will feel like writing again soon. Okay, so if this has been helpful, then please hit the like button and share the video with other people. And I will see you again next Friday.